Hello, welcome to Working Dragon Mystic, where we discuss real metaphysical and occult knowledge so that you can manifest real and tangible results in your life. This week, we're going to discuss demonic uns, what they are, what they aren't, and how you can utilize them in your practice. So stay tuned. Okay, so many of you all know that I have been doing a Goetic Spirit um, series here on the channel. And in those, we have included the demonic uns of the different spirits when we have them. Now, when you go into Facebook groups, when you go into different occult forums, these uns are talked about a lot. People's always asking for the specific un that belongs to this spirit or that spirit. Some people's asking, what is an un? That noise is a jet. That is not a nun. We will try to work around those and edit out what we can. Okay, so a demonic un is um, often referred to as a chant, an incantation, um, when trying to connect or tune with the spirit. They are either chanted, in tone, um, some people even use them in meditations um, repetitiously. And they can do all these things. The big question is, when people are out there, do you need them? No, you don't. I know practitioners who have worked with spirits for years, and I'm talking 50 years, never used a demonic gun. Now that said, can they be useful? Yeah, they can be useful. They can be helpful. Is there only one true un per spirit? No, there is not. In fact, if you go look and you can find many, many of them, um, most of the demonic uns that are in popularity and popular circulation, though, um, do seem to be coming from demonolatry, which is a path practice that is, well, it's actually more of a religion. Um, and that's fine. It is a spiritual practice that can be viewed as either a spiritual path or religion. Um, some people use demonolatry as just a framework for their magical practice without any form of worship or whatnot. And that is fine. But in demonolatry, they do use very specific terms to their path that does not fit with other paths. This has caused issues um, in other areas before, but that's not to say demonolatry is bogus. I've heard a lot of people try to debunk it because of that. No, their stuff works, it is functional, and that is fine. Um, Yes, um, when we go changing terms within the occult and we're all on different pages, that gets difficult. But also, also when we're having a conversation, um, we can ask how we define these terms. Um, and perhaps I think the two terms that has caused the biggest uproar is invocation and evocation and how demonolatry views that they differ as opposed to the rest of the mages through history, how they viewed them. But that's a video for another time. Um, but these uns are out there and people's always asking me, well, I want to work with the spirit, but I don't have the un. What's the un? I don't know. I mean, I don't really use uns all the time in my practice. I occasionally use them if there's one and I find it functional. First off, if I can't pronounce something easily during ritual, I'm probably not going to. It's going to be more of a distraction than anything and you don't want to be distracted. You want your focus on the connection. You want your focus on the ritual. Um, so if you're adding more stuff to it, you're just pulling yourself out of that ritual state by distracting yourself. This is one of the reasons I don't use long format um, rituals. As beautiful as they are, as elegant as they are, they don't work for me because of the distraction. Whereas other people, it's not a distraction. It actually sets a mood and helps guide them into the ritual. This is why different formats actually function. So, when it comes to the uns, yes, um, in demonolatry, you'll find most of them. Um, in fact, I think it's S. Conley who published the Complete Guide to Demonolatry. A large, large amount of the uns are in there and a lot of Conley's other works. In fact, when it comes to the Goetic Spirits, she also published uns for all the Goetic Spirits. And um, I'm noticing that many of the uns that I am locating do tend to be hers. So thank you, Miss Conley, for sharing your knowledge and information on those uns. 
That said, you can also get your own un from the entity. Uh, this has happened many a times. There's many times where a spirit has given me an incantation or something to chant in order to help with uh, meditation or connecting with them, bonding with them, or to make evocation easier in the future. Um, many of you who have taken my Dragon Magic 101 course, they know that there is the Draconic Incantation in there, Draconis Balash Lux Tenebris. That will function the same as an Un for the dragons. Easy. Um, there are many incantations that can do this. There isn't one specific, one true Un or incantation. That's not to say they're useless, though. Again, you have these uns in place and you can utilize them and they do help you get into that trance state, especially when you're using them as a form of incantation that's repetitive. Um, similar as you would use the Draconis Balashalux Tenebris. Um, it's something repetitious that allows you to fall into it. You can even write your own um, if any of you watched my hailing video, um, when it comes to the hailing rite, um, I think it was for Freya, uh, but uh, let's see if I can think real quick while the camera's looking at me. Um, so for Odin, it'd be something like, Hell Odin, All Father, Wise One, One-Eyed Wanderer, King of the Azir, Lord of Valhalla, join me here and now in this place and grace me with your presence. Hell Odin, Hell Odin. Hail Odin, Hail Odin, Hail Odin. Now, that quick little snippet of a prayer could be used as an incantation and um, in and of itself, though it's a lot longer than an un. An un's usually only maybe five to six words with the name of the entity. Um, so they are shorter. But you notice at the end where you start repeating that Hail Odin, Hail Odin, Hail Odin. That's actually going to help you connect to that to Odin while putting you in that trance state. Again, the same thing as the Un will do. Um, but you can go online. You can find the different Uns. Um, find one that speaks to you. Find one that feels right to you. Or you can write your own. Um, I know some people who will write out a simple prayer in a different language and utilize that. Um, now, that's not to say... People just made these up. Um, it is my understanding that in demonolatry, in their practice, in their tradition or religion, whatever you want to call it, these have been channeled by members of the demonolatry community and have been shared and utilized by multiple members with success. That is a shared manifestation or shared gnosis that has produced um, results for multiple people. That's great. That definitely tells you that there's something to it and whether or not you can make your own or not. Here's one that the work's already been done on and if you're comfortable using it, go ahead and use it. That's okay. Um, they are functional. Again, this is not to say they're useless, they're bogus, or any of that. Um, it's mainly to help you to understand you don't need them and you don't have to search out for that one true un to start working with these entities. There's so many people who never get started because they get hung up on these uns. Um, and that is a really sad thing for me um, because it is something that you could easily write your own or you, um, you could even go in without one if need be. So yeah, definitely Think about this and do a little work. And if you are interested in um, Conley's works, check them out, definitely. Um, she has some interesting viewpoints and takes on different things. It is true. Her and I don't agree on everything. But that's life, and that's the beauty of life. People are different. Um, but that doesn't, again, like I said, it, if it works, it works. I'm good with that. Um, so when it comes to uns, you can... Search them online pretty easily. Just type in un of and put the spirit's name. Uns is usually spelled E-N-N. -N. Um, and you should easily be able to find one or more of the different uns that has been used for that spirit at different times. Find one that um, is 
comfortable for you to say, repeat, um, and feels right for you, and give it a try. And if you can't find one online for some reason, see what you can do to write your own, even if it's just a short one. I mean, you can pretty much just do a, um, well, to utilize Odin again, you can do Hell Odin, All Father, join me here and now in this place and grace me with your presence. Hell Odin, All Father, join me here and now and grace me with your presence. I mean, you could do something as simple as that and just literally replace the name, so you could just switch it over to Hell Boulder. Um, shining one join me here and now in this place and grace me with your presence or you could even drop out the descriptor if you wanted and just go straight to hell boulder join me here and now in this place and grace me with your presence um, for me I like to put a bit more descriptor I try to be a bit more personal with it but if you don't have the information or you can't think of anything to write Something as simple as that can work in your incantation position to replace an un if need be. Okay, I know this has been a little odd, quick, short video, but I hope this answers a little bit about uns um, and clears up that you don't necessarily need them and you don't halt and put the brakes and stop your practice just because you can't find the correct un or you're worried about is it the right or the wrong un, those kinds of things. So get out there, start practicing, Start manifesting the life that you want and keep your focus on that self-mastery and keep moving down your path. If you have any questions about uns, drop them below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if we get enough questions and there's enough need, I'll do a follow-up video on this topic. And until next time, I'm Drake. This has been Working Dragon Mystic. Take it easy.